Hello Korea Scholars, welcome back to another video. In recent episodes we saw how to install the latest version of Python on Windows and macOS machines. Before that, we went through the most common use cases for Python, who is using it within the industry, and why is it increasing in popularity over the last few years. Ok, so now what? Now that we are all set up, where do we start? Today I'm bringing you a beginner friendly example, but really powerful at the same time that you can apply yourself at home with just your computer and nothing else. One of the most common Python applications is scripting and task automation. But you might be wondering, what in the world can I automate? Well, a good automation application is one of the most boring and repetitive tasks we do quite often without even thinking about it, and that is moving files around our computer. So today we're gonna write a Python automation script that will clean up our downloads folder. If you're like me, you might be keeping everything you download into the same folder and at some point you might have dozens or even hundreds of files in there. Basically, we're gonna keep our downloads folder clutter-free by moving all the files to specific folders based on the files extensions. So for example, all PNG and JPEG images will be moved onto the pictures folder, the audio files onto the music folder, and so on and most of the work will be carried out by the OS Python module, which is a way of using operating system dependent functionality. You have this module available out of the box when you install Python, and basically it can do things like listing all the files within a directory, creating and removing files and folders, renaming them, or even moving them from one place to another. Here I'm just showing you some of the module functions we'll be using in our script. So, let's open up PyCharm and start writing some code. So this is our script, and to save us some time, I've already started working on it. Basically, I've created a specific variable that groups different file extensions based on a category. For instance, extension underscore images is an array of values like PNG, JPEG, GIF, SVG, BMP, etc. So for this example, I've defined few of them here just the most relevant ones I could think of. We have audio file extensions, video file extensions, general doc and compressed file extensions, and executable or installer file extensions. So again, our goal here is to move all files from the downloads folder to a target directory based on the file extension. Great, so let's start writing some code. I've structured the script in three steps, the first one being optional. First, we will create the destination folders, in case they do not exist, so we don't get any errors when moving files around. Then, we will get a list of all the files in the download folder, extract their file extension, and build a data structure mapping each file with its file extension. Finally, we'll use this mapping to decide where we want to store these files within our development environment. Great! Let's start writing some code. First, we'll create a variable called basePath equals os.path.expandUser and then tilde symbol. This will get us our home directory, where all the previous folders live. Then we'll create destination directories as an array of strings. In here we'll put the names of the folders we want to create, like music, movies, pictures, and so on. Then we're gonna loop over these directories. So for dir in destination directories, we'll get the directory path as os.path.join base path and then directory. And right after we'll check whether that folder name actually exists in the path and whether it's type directory. If it's not, it's gonna create it for us. Great, let's run the script. The script hasn't done anything as all those directories already existed in the first place. So let's add a random folder name that doesn't exist. Let's run it again. See, the script has created that folder. Good. In the next step, we're gonna create a variable called downloads path equals os.path.join and then base path downloads in between parentheses. Then we want to create a data structure to map all the files within that folder. 
we're gonna use the collections module. So let's import it at the top of our script. Then we can create a file mapping variable equals collection dot default dictionary and in between parentheses list. Finally, we'll get a list of files using os.lister downloads path. This will get us an array of files and folders within the downloads directory. Let me print them out. First, we have the mapping as an empty dictionary. There's nothing inside the curly braces. And then we have an array of file names. Great. Then we're gonna iterate for each file name in that file list. We'll get the file extension equals file name dot split and we'll split it on the last period of the file name. Finally, we'll append the file name to the dictionary using the file extension as the dictionary key. Cool, let's print that dictionary and see what we get. Okay, we get a collection as a dictionary, but it's not that visual right now. So let me import pretty print at the top of the file. And now let's replace pretty print instead. Great, so this dictionary basically shows us uh, a mapping and for each of the file extensions we have a list one or more values for each of the file names that we have in our downloads folder. On top of that we see that we have some weird file extensions here for all those macOS hidden files. So let's make sure we remove them. Let's update our script and let's add an if statement. If the file name doesn't start with period then run both commands. Let's run the script again. Cool, we are omitting them now. Lastly, we just need to move files around from the downloads folder to the destination folder. And we are going to do that by iterating over the files mapping dictionary. Let's write for file extension, comma, file list in files mapping dot items. And let me quickly print them both. See, first we get a file extension as dictionary key and then we get the list of file names as dictionary values. So for the first key, TMG, that's an installer or executable, right? And it is captured under extension underscore installer. We'll write if F extension is in extension installer, then for each of the files in file list, then and now we just need to execute the moving operation. We can do that in multiple ways, but I found one of the easiest is to just use the OS rename function. And this function takes in two arguments, the source file path and the destination file path. So first we'll pass in os.path.join downloads path comma file. This will be the source file and os.path.join base path applications and file. This is gonna be the destination file. As a good practice, before running this type of commands, I always make sure I'm getting the right variable values. So let me command this one out and print out the variable values. Great, so for each DMG file, this is the source file path and this is gonna be the destination file path. Great. Now we just need to repeat the same process for the remaining folders. Okay, the script is now completed. Basically, we're specifying a target directory where we want to move the files to for each of the extension categories that we've defined at the top of our script. So we're gonna use applications for executable files, music for audio files, movies for video files, pictures for images, documents for general docs and compressed files, and other for everything else. Okay, let's give it a try then. But before we run it, let's check again on Finder. On the right hand side, there's all the files from downloads. And on the left hand side of the screen, there's my home directory. Let me click on them and show you that these folders are empty. So, the moment of truth. Let's run the script. Okay, it's finished. Let's go back to Finder. Okay, we no longer see any documents under downloads. And on the left hand side, we see some images under pictures. 
Let's check all of them and see how all files have been moved to the target directories based on their file extension. If we go back to PyCharm and run the script again, it won't find any files under our downloads folder and it won't do anything. Ok guys, this was a simple Python automation script that you can easily apply at home. I think this was a pretty fun exercise to introduce you to Python scripting. Let me know how you'd find it, and hopefully soon enough I will be uploading new videos with more Python applications. If you're running a Windows machine, just make sure your variables are properly set and everything should work just as fine. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, turn on the notifications bell, and make sure you subscribe to the channel to give me some support. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.